Putin, captain of the hockey team, and his Capital One check for $25,000, which will just about cover your loans, right? Your student loans? Yeah, I'm hoping so. Well, very good. And I noticed your girlfriend, Lauren, is in the audience. I want to say hey to Lauren. Hi. Because she's really the reason you're here, right? She's the one who told you to audition. She, uh, she is a big millionaire fan, and we were back for a wedding in Seattle during one of the auditions, and... She convinced me to come stand in line, and we hung out and braved some uh, weather, and then ended up getting on the show because of it. There you go. She had faith in you. Yeah. yeah. Lauren, anything you want to say to Matt before we start playing again? I'm really proud of you, and just keep it going, baby. There you go. <laughs> keep it going, baby. You got twenty-five thousand, Matt. You're going for fifty thousand. You have that fourth lifeline. Switch the question. Five away from a million. Easy, easy, easy. No Ready no to play? Yeah, let's All right, let's do it. Let's play. This is for $50,000, Matt. Which of these leaders was Russia's first democratically elected president? Mikhail Gorbachev, Yuri Andropov, Vladimir Putin, Boris Yeltsin. I should have brushed up on my uh, Russian politics a little bit before I came in here now. Well, the good news is you do have that switch to the question if you need it. Let's see two answers that I like. Uh, the Western Civ teacher is not going to be pleased. <laughs> you know what? I think I'll use that lifeline. Oh, you want to use switch, switch the question? Switch the question, please. Okay, first we'll see what the answer was. It was Boris. Was that what you were thinking? I thought about it, but I mean, was, it was know, one of one of two, 50, 50. So throw it out. Yeah. Just get it out of your head. It doesn't matter. We're switching out of this That's question scary. for another one. Computer, please. Value at fifty thousand dollars. The Guinness Book of World Records measures the world's fastest talkers based on how quickly they recite what? Twas the night before Christmas. To be or not to be soliloquy. The Gettysburg Address. The house that Jack built. You know what? I'm going to say C, final answer. It's a good guess. That is not it. I don't know what it is to be. To be or not to be. But to pay. $25,000, Matt. Great job. Good luck to you. Real pleasure.